So being in a professional environment, one has to dress according to your profession, but you also have to dress, um, if you want people to take you seriously, then you want to obviously dress the part. So the first thing that you would do is obviously do layering at the top. So you would have wear more than two layers. So it would be a shirt with a jacket, for instance, that would look more formal. The next thing that you need to understand is that even though um, you you might have a sexy style personality, you're going to have to cover up. So that means that you need to wear um, high collars, um, not low cleavage tops, because that would all make you just dis discredit you in terms of professionality. So keep those clothes for the weekends, but dress, but slightly conservatively. So no um, low necklines, etc. All right. The darker the color, the more professional it becomes. So if you can't wear stark black, for instance, navy, dark browns, dark grays are your obvious choices. And you can obviously add a bit of color with your shirt. Obviously, you also want to wear structured clothing. So it needs to be, it needs to be straight jackets, cuts, straight cuts, uh, with uh, that sort of complements your figure, skirts in an A-line, pants that come st go straight down. So you want to have those structured kinds of outfits. Um, color contrast, as I said, you can color contrast with using, for instance, a pastel color shirt with your dark suit just to create that contrast. But don't forget about being um, sophisticated. So you would want to add some sophistication to that, maybe in the jewelry that you wear, um, maybe, you know, wear all gold, for instance, or all silver, um, you know, just to, to bring in that bit of sophistication, maybe a little um, scarf around the neck, just creating that sophisticated look. And then obviously staying on trend, because even though you want to be professional, you don't want to look like an old maid. So you want to be trendy still, but just in a professional way. All right. And then um, obviously you can bring in something that will pull the attention to your face. So for instance, if you're wearing, say, dark gray, a bold red lip, it sounds, you know, it might sound vampy, but if you do your makeup correctly and you wear a red lip or a nude lip that pulls the attention to your face so that people can look you in the eye, that's even better.